next group of theorems we want to introduce to you are theorems that have to do with supplementary angles. Relationship of supplementary angles. Theorems about supplementary angles. First one is called the supplement theorem. Uh, actually a fairly difficult theorem to prove, to find a proof of. It seems rather intuitively obvious. We actually have changed and come to believe that the definition of linear pair includes this. Uh, there are actually some places that because they don't want to prove this simply call it the supplemental or linear pair postulate. However, it is widely accepted as a supplement theorem. And its statement is, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. We will prove this here in a little bit. Here's our two angles, angle 1 and 2, they form a linear pair. Ray BA and ray BC are opposite rays, which is the definition of a linear pair. If the, if the non-common sides of two adjacent angles form a straight line, then they are a linear pair. That's the definition of a linear pair. And, uh, they form a straight line and a straight angle. Straight angle measurement is 180. Therefore, if we add measurement angle 1 to measurement angle 2, it equals 180, which is the definition of supplementary. Therefore, angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. And we'll go through that proof. Seems intuitively obvious. We want to prove that so we can use it. The second one is congruent supplement theorem. These two look an awful lot alike. If you go do a lookup, Google, you'll find that you'll come up with both of these together. However, this statement is very different than this one. Congruent supplement theorem simply says angles supplementary to the same angle or to congruent angles are congruent. Have an example over here. We have one, angles 1, 2, and 3. And a couple of statements. Given that the measurement angle 1 plus the measurement angle 2 equals 180, and given that the measurement angle 1 plus the measurement of angle 3 equals 180, then angle 2 has to be congruent to angle 3. Okay? That one's a fairly simple one to prove. Once you get there, simply do uh, substitution and subtraction properties, and uh, you come up with the measurement of angle 2 equals the measurement of angle 3. Because the measurement of angle 2 equals the measurement of angle 3 in the definition of congruent angles, we can then say angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. Two very important theorems that you'll use quite a bit uh, when you're dealing with supplementary angles, trying to find um, the supplement of an angle. Supplement theorem and congruent supplement theorem. Next group, we're talking about supplemental, supplementary angles. Next group we're going to talk about is going to be what? So if we talked about the relationship between supplementary angles, then we also have to talk about the relationship between complementary angles. Two very similar theorems. Complement theorem. Just like the supplement theorem. Complement theorem. If the non-common sides of two adjacent angles form a right angle, then, let's make that then, then the angles are complementary. And we have a picture. The non-common sides. This in here would be the common side between the two angles. If the two non-common sides make a right angle, two adjacent angles make a right angle, then these two angles are complementary. In other words, they add up to be 90. Okay? The other complement theorem is just like the supplement. Congruent complement theorem. Angles that are complementary to the same angle or to congruent angles are congruent. You have three angles. Angle 1, 2, and 3. Statement, measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals 90 degrees. Another statement. Measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 90 degrees. Then angle 2 is congruent with angle 3. Proof of this is very similar, almost identical to the one for congruent supplement theorem. Again, two theorems.
angles whenever you're dealing with complementary angles that you'll be using quite a bit in your proofs. We're going to go from here to look at some other theorems about uh, generalities in uh, angles. The next group of theorems we want to visit about is theorems about right angles. There's quite a few of these. They're fairly common and straightforward. Uh, there's five of them. First one is perpendicular lines intersect to form four right angles. Basically, that little picture would look like this. Four right angles, if they're perpendicular, like that. It's pretty easy to prove that those will be four right angles. That proof would be a nice test question, single test question. Let's see if you know how to prove things. Second one, all right angles are congruent. I believe that's also known as Euclid's fourth postulate. So why is it a postulate for Euclid? Why are we calling it a theorem? Different strokes for different folks. Um, interesting uh, theorem to prove. All right angles are congruent. Third one, perpendicular lines form congruent adjacent angles. You can take this picture of it here. Perpendicular lines form congruent adjacent angles. Not only the right angles, but they're also congruent and they're adjacent. The fourth theorem, if two angles are congruent and supplementary, then each angle is a right angle. What's the picture of that one look like for here? And I'll just erase this because we're going to use this same picture. Two angles are congruent and supplementary. Okay. They add up to be 180 and they are congruent then they have to be right angles. They don't have a choice. 180 divided by 2 is 90 degrees. Any angle that equals measures 90 degrees is a right angle. Definition of a right angle. And the last one, if two congruent angles form a linear pair, such as this right here, then they are right angles. These two uh, follow each other very close. One and three follow each other very close. Two sort of stands out by itself. Five theorems about right angles that you will be using quite a bit. Have one more theorem we need to look at. 